uh, YouTube. I got a two-way mid-range specialist for y'all today. Fire rare build, bruh. But hit that like button and hit that sub button. Turn on the post notice too. But we're going to go center with this build. And, bruh, yo, this build is really fire, bruh. Not even going to hold you. We're going to go 7-1. You're going to want to take your weight up to 246. Rock out like that. And 7 8 on the wingspan, bruh. So we're going to get 99 rebound on this build, bruh. It's really going to be some heat. We're going to go 65 on the vert. Your stamina. And, bruh, you got to go 65 on the vert at least, bruh. Because you do want to get the big man contact dunks. And your stamina, we're going to put that at 93. So we're going to hit the. Defense. Now we're gonna hit the shooting first. Now we're gonna yeah, we're gonna hit the defense for a fact, bro. So we're gonna go 83 on the interior. Your steal right here, you wanna go 60. So going 60, you get silver interceptor. And really, bro, you need at least bronze interceptor. 60 steal rating is perfect, but you get you get the bronze at a low rating, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you, but Bro, you gotta upgrade that to 60. Still, you still wanna put on at least the bronze interceptor though. You don't gotta go silver, but you good with that, bro. You want any any time the ball is flying near you, bro. If you got your arms out or if you hit the square, bro, you good, bro. You definitely gonna grab that. But you wanna max out your block rate in and your defensive rebound. You wanna go 99. So you're getting the Hall of Fame rebound chaser, bruh. It's really some heat, bruh. Because it's not too many builds out there with 99 rebound, bruh, for real, for real. You're going to go 86 on your offensive rebound. Rock out like that. And we're going to go... Yeah, yeah, we're going to rock out like that, bruh. So you got... 34 defensive badges, and that's really some heat right there, bro. You see, you got the Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, Worm, Box, Pogo, Intimidator, bro. Chase down, all that. So, we're going to go to the finishing, bro. Now, we're going to go to the shooting. So, you're going to want to go 75 on your three ball and max out your midi. So, you're getting 22 shooting badges, and you see you getting gold high zone, Really important bass, bro. For real, for real. Got catch and shoot. You really got everything you need, bro. For real, for real. And the Hall of Fame sniper. So that's really tough right there. We're going to throw on the free throw at 72. So, you, bro, you always want to hit consistently with 72, bro. It seemed like it's easier to hit free throws on a big man, too, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. And we're going to go to your standing dunk. You want to max that out. Your driving dunk, you want to go 65. And your close shot, go 92. Rock out like that. Then we're going to have the post control. And, bro, you see what badges is lighting up when we throw on a close shot, bro. You got to have a good close shot, bro. You got to, bro, you got to have it in a certain window, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm going a, I'm to a definitely be... Dropping some heat real soon, bro. I'm going to let y'all know y'all got to have everything at. But we're going to go 68. And you getting 23, fi 23 finishing badges. And, bro, as long as you got the badges you need, 23 is definitely enough. Like, if you got, if you messed up your finishing attributes, bro, I'm not even going to hold you. You might need more than that. You might need around 30, but... To finish consistently, bruh, like, 30 is really an overkill because you want to notice that you finish it consistently before you max out your badges. So, you good right there. And, you, bruh, you got so many Hall of Fame badges. This is really crazy. <laughs> but we're going to go. That's really some heat, bruh. 23, 22, 34 so far. But we're going to go to the playmaking. And you want to max out your pass act. So you get in gold bullet passer and being on a center build, bruh, this is going to be great for rep. You want to grab all the rebounds, bruh, dish them right out. You're not going to be throwing no turnovers, bruh, for real, for real, because 
you got a high pass act considering what you need to throw outlet passes and not turn them over and everything bro this is high bro you good so we're gonna get to the takeovers then the badges and you see bro on a 7-1 build you could choose from the sharp tape and <laughs> that's really some pressure that's the option but you probably not going to throw that on unless you got mama mentality because you might not want to run sharp tape every game you feel me on the 7-3 but we're gonna go with that pain intimidation tape and you could go with another e you go a double pain intimidation for real for real you can go with the sharp for your second one you just don't got to you feel me but you got a two-way mid-range specialist and bruh this is really crazy bruh this is really some pressure we're gonna go to the badges and for your finishing you want to go fast twist silver posterizer bruh i would go hall of fame on that and rise up you don't gotta go hall of fame you can go gold on that one but you really want the 99 bro on your drive on your standing dunk to get the hall of fame posterizer not even as much the rise up but put on your grace under pressure post spin mouse hook specialist unstrippable lob city and limitless take on shooting badges blinders corner specialist Fade Ace, you could go gold on that. You can go Hall of Fame, bro. Yeah, for a fact, bro, because you do got enough. It depends on really your play style, not even gonna hold you, because some some bigs is gonna play like, like, I know a lot of teams do play five out. Some play four out, one in. But if you're playing five out, bro, you, you're not gonna throw on a Fade Ace really at all, unless y'all end up playing, playing his own offense and everything. And you play from the from the free throw line and everything, you can throw it on right there, bro. Cause that's really how you break the two three zone, bro. For real, for real. But we gonna go catch and shoot, dead eye, high zone hunter, and you wanna put on. I probably would go. You can't have neither one of these by one. I probably would throw on that uh, slippery off ball, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. Rock out like that, or you could th you could throw on. Yeah, yeah, you good right there. We are gonna go to the playmaking though. You wanna put on your bullet passer. You don't gotta throw it on gold, but you you get it on gold, bro. For real, for real. So I would throw it on gold. It's more important than dimer though. So you gotta make sure the pass is getting there. You could put on your post playmaker gold. Needle threader and you do want to put on special delivery break starter. Now nah, you good, you could throw on dimer, then rock out with yeah. You got the special delivery because yeah, yeah. that's really just gonna give you a boost to the pass act, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you for your defensive badges. Chase down, Intimidator. You could go probably Silver on that one. Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. Silver Worm. Hall of Fame Box. Silver Brick Wall. Bronze Intimidator. Rock out like that. You don't got to throw on Pick Pie. Yo, bro, you really got a lot of badges on this build, bro. You got up the... Intimidator and a chase down. Got up the interceptor, bro. Yo, this is really crazy. For real, for real. I probably, I probably up the pogo over the interceptor, though. For real, for real, bro. Because even if you're not jumping all game, bro, even if you don't got a problem hitting that triangle, you feel me, bro? You always going to want to have that pogo on Hall of Fame because that's going to help you rebound. And, bro, that's really some pressure right there, bro. You got 23, 22, 14, and 34, bro. Fire lockdown big, bro. For real, for real. But I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.